uh, hanging out with my dad, it's very nice. It's uh, very good for our relationship, you know, father-son. You put that corn down there, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't need that corn, did you? No, I tried not to. Okay. You wear your teeth down. Your mom will be mad at you. You have the ammo? David Garcia is on a very special youth hunt. Now you just gotta be real quiet. He and many others got this chance of a lifetime because another young man lost his. We do this hunt in memory of my son, Jacob Krebs. He died at 18, you know, before he even graduated high school. And he went on one turkey hunt, but he went on 10 or more helping on other hunts. And that's where he enjoyed giving back, you know. And I hope it'll be something you'll remember when you're my age, hopefully. The youth hunt is in memory of our son, Jacob Krebs. Um, Jacob died chasing his dream. That dream was to become a Navy SEAL. I met Jacob because we got involved in Boy Scouts. We spent a lot of time band trips together, cross country trips, track, Boy Scout camping trips, service projects. We were the Longhorns. <laughs> he had a girlfriend for once or twice in high school and it was probably that mascot uniform and, and a lot more. <laughs> but who doesn't want a guy in a big Longhorn uniform, I guess. Just 20 miles west of Fredericksburg, Harper has a population under 2,000. When Jacob died, it shook the community. Will and Mary Krebs raised him to be active in all facets of the community. He was an Eagle Scout. He was a reenactor at the Nimitz Museum in Fredericksburg. Then he was a phenomenal athlete. He would run eight miles without any problem. He was in training constantly for his goal in life was to be a SEAL. Jacob was practicing and swimming and um, holding his breath. And unfortunately, the last time he held his breath, he held it for too long and he passed out and he died. When Jacob died, Will Krebs came to me and he said, Joyce, I would like to memorialize my son. Could you help me? And so I said, we should ask the Harper Wildlife Association if they would help us do this. The name is very long, but it's the Harper Wildlife Management and Association Youth Hunt for Wounded Warriors in memory of Jacob Krebs. In about five, 10 minutes, we're gonna head over to the pavilion for the sausage demo. <laughs> between the skinning and the eating, there's a lot that's got to happen in between there. Sausage you could get done. Commercial. For three days every January, Harper Community Park is engulfed in Hunter Orange. Oh, you got it. Like all Texas youth hunt programs, kids learn safely about shooting sports, hunting ethics. What kind of animal is it? And wildlife identification. Do you pinch things they, or we grab things? They, they use those two fingers. <laughs> But what makes this youth hunt different is everyone here has a connection with the military. I was a medic for 20 years. Uh, been all over the world and settled in San Antonio for my last tour and that's, that's where we call home now. He doesn't bring up about his time in the military often, but he knows that um, I appreciate it and a lot of other people appreciate him as well. Jacob loved hunting and he also loved wounded warriors. He was so proud to acknowledge any veteran that he saw, and he'd walk up to him and tell him thank you. And so in memory of Jacob, we decided to honor them and have a youth hunt. There's, there's something right there, right there. Look at that big spiker. Oh my gosh. Jeez. That wasn't there earlier. I it came out of my backpack. I don't want it. 
David missed precious time with his father while he served his country. The hazards of youth hunting. <laughs> this hunt gives some of that time back. Just behind the feeder. We can talk, but about what, what's ever on our mind, it's uh, very nice. A lot of times we won't say anything, but it's just being here next to him is uh, what really warms my heart, just knowing that he's here. If you lost anything, please claim it. My brother meant a lot because he is basically a role model. He still showed me a lot of things about being, um, doing your best at all times and basically overachieving whenever you can and just doing whatever you can for others. But it was still hard. It's hard for all of us because Jacob was pretty special. I was a, as a pallbearer for Jacob. Probably one of the most difficult times. As we all just picked up shovels and, and just all helped bury him. You should never have to do that. You should never have to do that. Jacob was buried on the ranch where he grew up hunting and fishing in a casket built by his father. Thank you for this wonderful weekend. And engraved with his love. Jacob brought a community together for a common cause. Love you. To serve others to have served us. It was 100% volunteer. All those that gave of their time or their talents or purchases for us to be able to provide all this just for the kids. But Jacob's legacy doesn't stop here. He gave all of himself to help others. Jacob saved the lives of four people on April the 2nd, um, 2013 and he has greatly enhanced the lives of at least 80 more around the United States through tissue and bone and cornea donation. 80, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's amazing, that's amazing. Everybody say backstrap. The simple things in life, the plain things in life are the main things in life and, and hunting is just a simple, simplest way of, of going and getting your food and nourishment and, and enjoying God's, God's green earth. I got him right here, Dad. I did not grow up hunting. He had shown an interest in hunting and had asked me to look in uh, for some hunting here in Texas. And I just kind of went to a website and Googled youth hunting, and the Texas website showed up. Oh, there's three. There's three. There's three. Great. Shot. Good shot, son. I think this hunt is important because the veterans do so much for this country, and I think the least we could do is give them a nice hunt with their kids, and that means a lot. Awesome, awesome. I just give them back is, is, what I, is, is why I'm doing this, until the Lord tells me to do something different. Appreciate it. Thank you for your service. And I think he really is getting to do what he really desired to do after all. Good size. <laughs>